Welcome to BIM Design Studio. Today we are exploring Autodesk Revit 2026, a release engineered to redefine precision, productivity and innovation in the AEC industry. This isn't just an update, it's a leap forward that empowers architects, engineers and construction professionals to deliver smarter, faster and more sustainable outcomes. Let's dive into the new core features of Revit 2026. The launch of the accelerated graphics tech preview, a notable boost in visual performance and responsiveness, is one of the most important turning points. This technical preview feature makes use of cutting-edge graphics technology, such as open-source elements based on Hydra and the universal scene description, to significantly increase navigation performance in both 2D and 3D views. A more responsive and fluid modeling environment with smoother modeling inspection less latency and more enjoyable navigation in huge projects is made possible by the enhanced graphics performance. Capabilities of Topo Solids have been enhanced. The subdivision offset parameter can now be adjusted to negative values, enabling us to build recessed elements like pits or sunken roads. Additionally, we can apply several subdivision types to the same Topo Solid, allowing an intricate design without requiring manual joining or splitting. The accuracy of legacy topo surfaces is now equal to that of the new boundary constraint method for cut or fill computations. This enhancement results in more accurate estimations for artwork. Topo solids are more stable for Boolean operations. Nowadays, tiny forms are used on void geometric cuts, which improves the site modeling and lowers the chance of failures. When working with the link topography, an enhanced level of performance can be experienced. The efficiency of civil 3D surfaces connected to the project is increased by this improvement via Autodesk documents, fixing earlier incompatibilities and ensuring more precise translations. Copying and pasting slab shapes sub elements like split lines and points can speed up the creation of topo solids, floors, and roofs. The option to create walls based on room boundaries is added in Revit 2026. There are two options with this approach. We can select the entire room boundaries of individual boundary segments while placing the walls. Compound assemblies no longer require a core layer. The ability to remove or relocate core layers outside the core boundary has improved wall joints. It has also made it simpler to produce compound parts without a structural core. For any compound elements such as walls, floors, roofs, ceilings, and topo solids, we can alter the layer priority separately from the function. Notable improvements to our documentation procedures can benefit us. We can now precisely arrange views on sets and use automatic positioning, eliminating the need for human adjustments and ensuring consistency in our outputs. Adding custom data in technical drawings is now more flexible since we can report shared parameters in view family labels, such as callout heads, elevation marks, section marks, and view references. Revit 2026 offers a structural engineer's parametric rebar cranking, a tool that makes modeling crank rebar in consistent areas easier. This feature makes it simple to model and manage crank parts, avoiding collisions and saving time while revising. We can eliminate all setbacks with a single click using a new global option in the structural settings, ensuring that every part is accurately presented from point to point. This feature, which focuses on downstream model correctness and utility rather than drawing presentation, applies to both freshly developed and existing existing pieces in the model. By combining HVAC zones and system zones into a more versatile and powerful system zones, HVAC zoning in Revit 2026 has been greatly enhanced. This improvement supports scheduling and color-free schemes, expands attributes, and enables zones to be specified by space or by drawing. By merging the advantages of earlier zoning objects, the consolidation reduces misunderstanding between them. Revit 2026 gives electrical engineers more flexibility in conductor computation by extending support outside the American wire box norm. Cable type and cable size have taken the role of wire type and wire size. More conductor information has been added and voltage drop has been eliminated. This upgrade enables more realistic electrical system modeling and better serves customers outside the United States. Revit 2026 has improved MEP fabrication in a number of ways. Step-down problems have been fixed, resulting in less output irregularities and more consistent behavior across all supported patterns. 
by removing all known disconnects, MVP fabrication computers and reload time performance and reliability have increased by around 70%. A preview of connections is now available in the new MVP content editor, allowing users to examine geometry before committing to the model. When connecting connections to parts, connector origin and snap points provide more clarity, boosting efficiency and confidence. We now have complete visibility and control over imported geometry because of the managed links dialog box's ability to import imported CAD files. The locations in a linked file may be more precisely specified with the new IFC link orientations. There are improvements in coordination modules. The model categories that are shown and their color and views are now precisely within our control. Enhancements include utilizing unique visual differences to improve communication and cooperation as well as hiding and displaying coordination model objects. These improvements make it easier to coordinate work and cost disciplines which reverse mistakes. Besides the changes and improvements, Revit 2026 includes some other changes and enhancements related to different tools within the Revit interface. Visit Autodesk's official website for a deeper dive into these new features.